Hi everyone, welcome to Low Code Basics. Today we are diving into something exciting. That is how to create a browser in Appian. If you are looking to enhance your user interfaces with a dynamic way to display the data, then this tutorial is for you. So first of all, let's understand what is a carousal. So a carousal is a great way to present multiple pieces of data in an interactive manner. So here I am in flipkart.com website. So you can see here this particular reason automatically the images are changing here. This is nothing but a carousal here. And here you can see left and right navigation are also given there. And with the help of which you can navigate and show multiple pieces of information as well. So if we want to create something like this in Appian, how can we do that? So if you are looking to create in Appian, this is how it will look for you. Here also you can create navigation buttons, right and left navigation as well. If you click on this arrow, the image is going to change here and here you can see multiple images again if I click on this one again I will come back to my very first image so we are going to see that how to create this carousal in Appian from scratch so let's get started on that here I have created an interface carousal browser so first of all what we will do here is let's go to the expression mode and here we will create a variable and here we will take images see here images are moving so i have already downloaded some of the image from flipkart only taken the screenshot and then cropped it and now let me just paste those images here so these are the names of the constant and these are storing up the different image here so if you go into this image you will be able to see the image from the flipkart here after that let's take a card layout so this information we will try to show that in a card layout here if you see here it is nothing but like one column we will add for the navigation and then the document and again for the navigation so we are going to take here columns layout because in columns layout we will show all the data one column we will take for this left navigation and then image and then for one for the right navigation so let's take a columns layout and we will take here three column layout so these are my three column layout here and in the middle column layout we will take our billboard layout because in order to show the image like this one we will need a billboard layout in Appian. So let's take a billboard layout. So here I have taken and now the background media. Now in the background media we have to take a document image. Okay and now the document but the problem is that I have three documents to show and only one document it can contain if you see that it cannot contain a list of documents. So what we will do here is sometime the first image should show if I click on the right or left navigation then second will show. So for that particular purpose we will take here local bank step and step is going to be one initially and here we will take a match so the value with which we want to match here is local bank step if it equals to one then we want to show here the very first image index of local bank images and here you can see fv bank value and null so every bank value will is nothing but that particular step value only and same thing we will just copy here and paste it here two more times if it equals to two and if it equals to three so that particular image we are going to take and a default value as well a default value is going to be null here and see here the very first image is automatically showing here complete image is not visible uh, that we will adjust it all the three images it will change here and how this step value will update for that particular purpose we have to take the navigation here so let's go to the column layout and let's take the width here the width we will take it here as extra narrow and the contents is going to be a rich text display field and the value is going to be rich text icon and the icon is going to be so if you go in the icon and if you just type here arrow so you will get this particular icon here chevron right and let's increase the size of the arrow as let's say large here and you will be able to see like this one and then see here, this arrow is currently at the very top but we want it in middle how can we do that so a column layout has a feature called as align vertical means vertically how you want to align bottom middle or top so we will take here middle and see here this will automatically come in the middle here and after that this will have a link as well 
so the link is going to be a dynamic link and link style will keep it standalone now in the link what will happen this is important part here if i click on this icon this particular step that is as of now present here it should update its value to 2 right then the second image should show here so let's write here save into and here we will write here a bank save the target is going to be local bank step and whatever is the step value it will just add one in that so if i click on this next button the second image will show and now you will be able to see the second image if i again click on that then third image will show but if i again click on that what will happen there is no fourth image so it will break so if already I have breached the limit means 3, I know that I am going to take only 3, then I can take a condition here that again go back to 1. So I will add a if condition here, if local bank step is equal to 3, then I will save here, just copy this particular part and just remove all these things and just paste 1 here. So again it will try to add 1 in the 3 part here. So let's try to test it once and click on this next button. See second image is showing, click on next button, third image. If you again click on that, then first image will show. In this way, our carousel will have like, it will be connected through in a circular way. It will just rotate again and again. It will never break. Same column layout and configuration we want to take at this particular point only. Just give the comma here and Chevron right will become here left initially the very first step in the left is this one but it cannot go minus one or zero right so if it is one then we will save here three otherwise we will just keep on subtracting one from that here we will just keep on subtracting one you click on this one here so it will become three and again click on that two and again click on that one so in this way the value will keep on changing here and now save your changes here and let's modify our card layout as well so let's keep the border as false and show shadow is true like this so we have kept like this one here and click on save your changes and now we will try to add this particular carousel in a site as well so for that i have already created a site here for yt carousel and just add this particular page here so give the name as home and here we will take the interface name click on add once you have added that particular part then select the stylized mercury here and it will be fine click on save your changes so once you will try to go in the site here you will be able to see that see here click on next button it will show the next image click on again and it will be show the next images here so in browser generally it is recommended that you don't keep too many images here only few images are fine here and let's say that there can be another use case in that as well for example user will require that i want to change these images by myself only again and again they can't tell the developers uh, to change them it should be configurable from the site only so for that particular purpose we can build a config type here so how this configuration type works is that you have to select any particular image for example you have selected second image like no i want to change this particular image here i have a new offer so what you can do here is that user can select this image and then they can click on upload here once they click on upload they can upload any image that they want let's say like i uploaded the image so what will happen is that this particular config is created as an action here if you go in the process this is how it works here is the user input task that you are seeing on the site here and then it comes as a value here constant so if constant value is one then it will update the first constant if it is two then it will update the second constant if it is three then it will update the third constant here so let's uh, see that click on submit button it should update our second constant so what we will do here is just click on process instances click on this one and see we have selected second constant so it has updated the second constant here if you check the values here so you can see here, this was the uploaded image and constant number is two and now if i click on refresh site here then it will show the new value and this is the new image if you go to the home tab here and in the home tab as well click on next button it will show you the new image here 
So without storing the image in the database as well, you will be able to show or update the particular document as well. That's what we have seen with the help of this particular config tab. If you want a separate tutorial for creating this config tab and configuring this update constant as well, we can create one for that as well. So that was all for now guys. Thank you.